Hi, I'm Paul Roy. I'm here to show you guys the operation of the Casella CEL 350. Um, basically, the first thing you want to do is open the box. You want to make sure it comes with its user manual. Inside the user manual, there should be calibration certification, which is right here. You want to take it and scan this because that's going to be added to the report at the end. Just make sure you scan it right when you get it in and keep it for uh, our records at the end. It also has a user manual, so if you any, have any other questions that this doesn't cover or the follow-up SOP that we have written, you can refer back to this or reach out to us for any other answers. Um, it also will have two charging stations. And the charging stations, if you look over here, this one's already set up. Simple, just an AC adapter, charger in the back. Um, you want to make sure that the night before you go out, you're charging these and make sure they're fully charged. It's pretty simple. Here's the unit itself. I had turned this one on actually. We'll get to that in a minute. You just set the unit on top. And if you'll look, come over here and look, you'll say charging. And it's nearly fully charged. Um, these things last for quite a while. So make sure that the units are completely charged before you're going out the night before. Okay, so you'll also have your USB adapter that connects to actually get the data from this. Once again, that's gonna follow up in a coming uh, uh, video. And then you'll also have a total of 12 units. Should be, if you're using the same, same one. And then uh, these microphone covers for when you're actually sampling. And you also have some backup batteries right here and a USB if you want to transfer data or whatever comes with it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do after the contents is going to show you how, how uh, to actually turn on the equipment itself. There's just a universal on button here on the left hand side when, it's fi when this, the display is facing you. You just push it once and you'll see it power up and cycle through a couple different things. Once it's on, the first thing you want to do is calibrate the instrument. So here's a little calibration tool that comes with you. It's pretty straightforward. This adjusts the decibels. Doesn't matter. You can either have 114 or 94, but it's set to 114. And so what you want to do is you want to take this piece, connect it here, and actually hit the power red power button right there on the calibrating equipment itself. If you'll see, it'll say it'll recognize that the sounds coming out. Calibrate you want to hit the right hand toggle button, which is here, and just hit OK, and it'll go through a cycle, a calibration cycle. Cal says OK, 114, instruments calibrated, ready to go. So the next thing you want to do when you're about to set it up for sampling is take your microphone cover, attach it, there's a little twist attach, give it a half twist right there, so now this, the instrument's ready to go and begin to start sampling. So in order to start sampling, you want to hold the power and the toggle button simultaneously. And you hold it down, it'll say start, three, two, one. And so now it should be, it is recording and gathering data for us. If you want to cycle through, make sure it is. It'll say, with the toggle button, it'll say the duration of the sampling. Now before you actually want to attach this to the, the individuals that are participating in the decimetry, you want to make sure you lock it so it doesn't get knocked or turned off or tampered with. In order to lock it, you hold the toggle button and you push the power button three times. I'm sorry, one second. Let's get back to the main screen. You hit the toggle, one, two, three. And you'll see in the bottom left-hand corner that's actually locked. So now this is ready to go, the person can take it. So attaching this, the unit to someone for sampling, you want to try to make it as close to the ear as possible. That way, you know, you're getting something representative of what kind of sound is being, you know, to their ear all day. And it's just a little clamp. You adjust it, open it like that. Clip it right here is where I found is easiest. And then if you want, sometimes people are moving around or like, you know, working and they're jumping up and down or whatever. You can do a secondary attachment right here. It's pretty close. Try to get it up as high as you can. Obviously it's not gonna be dangling from the ear or anything, but this is pretty good. Okay, after the eight hour period, you want to, uh, Take these guys off and just like we hit start before, 
you're gonna hold that toggle button and push the power three times and it will unlock it. When you unlock it, it's gonna scroll through a bunch of the data that it gathered after you, I'm sorry, after you unlock it, you wanna stop the data gathering, which is holding the power and the toggle simultaneously. And you'll see it say stop, three, two, one. Now it's stopped. Once it stops, you, it should go, you can cycle through and it'll tell you how long the duration was of the sampling, that was one minute and 45 seconds. Then it'll tell you the LZ peak, and you'll scroll through these and that's gonna follow with our data management in the next uh, SOP. But once you have stopped it, just like we hit uh, start before, you can hit power, hold it down though and it'll switch off. So that's the operation of the Casella uh, 350 D badge. And uh, like I said, we'll follow up with data management and downloading and storage and day of process. Thank you.